Hey guys, it's Homestar92, and welcome to part 8 of Mother 1, and in this part we're going to get to a new town, and do some stuff there. And who are we fighting? An eagle! Yay. Die, eagle, die. There we go, smash. 63. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Alright, let's keep going. On up north. Oh yeah, and something I wanted to point out, um, I had, I, I said that the, um, magic herbs were kind of like revives. Well, oh crap, oh we've got the badge, it's okay. Anyway, I had the, the role of magic herbs in this game and in Mother 3 confused. In Mother 3 they are revives, in this game they are just health. So, disregard what I said about the magic herbs earlier, they just give you like 30 health or whatever. They're pretty much the same thing as a life of alpha. So if I go to the big bag and use it, see actually it's a little less powerful than a life of alpha it looks like, but it's handy if we like run out of PP, so definitely still a good item to have. It will prove very useful. Um, so what we want to do first is we want to withdraw some money. Use the cash card. Withdraw um one hundred and eighty or something. Actually, we're gonna need about twenty more. Uh, cash card. <coughs> Twenty-five more, I think, is what we'll need. And that should be enough. We want to buy a couple of things. First, we want to buy a new repel ring. And then, we want to leave this place. And then head to the hotel so that we can heal up. 65 for night. Sure, I'll stay. And actually, I should probably... Yeah, this is just a waste of everyone's time, but... I really should withdraw another dollar and save here, because if you die, obviously, it takes you back to the last place you saved, so... Even though I have save states and I don't really need to, I'm gonna go ahead and save my game here. Yeah, 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 I know. Spend your money wisely, yes, yes. Okay, okay, blah, 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 yes. Okay. Now, since I already know what the game is going to want me to do, what we're supposed to do next is go to the school. I, however, want to take care of something else first. Let's go down here. We want to go to this little... That little building that you may have saw me pass before. Um, it is pretty far down south, so you can see the very tip of it. Two little saucers. Easy battle. There's one down. And there's the next. Okay, I'll pro I'll probably cut that battle. Um so just head in here, it's not even locked. And we want to free up a spot in our inventory and all the enemies are weak, so let's go ahead and use the repel ring. And we need to get up to the top. So let's do that. I believe we want to go to the left now. There's rooms with presents in them, but I'm just going to skip them all because honestly, I have to have a spot open in my inventory anyway, so this would be a place where you would want to come back later to get items. Because there's something important in this trash can that we need to get. Oops. Check. There was a bottle rocket. Don't use that bottle rocket. We need that. So, let's head down here. Oops, wrong way. I should have brought bread, but as you know, you know, inventory is pretty limited, so no bread. 
Let's just head on back down. Oops. I don't even think that's the right way. Come on, just a little more. And we made it. Yay. The repel ring worked. Not one random encounter in there. Yeah. A wolf. We haven't seen one of them yet. Let's go ahead and kill it. Unless it dodges. Die, wolf. Oh, what do you notice about the wolf sprite? It's slightly recycled. Yeah, they do that a lot in this game. You'll see some enemies later that look just like enemies from before. Another eagle. I can make... I can do away with you quickly. And there we go. No more eagle. Oh, another battle. Stupid eagles. Die. Okay, moving on. Or not. Uh, true little saucers. Yay. <coughs> Let's go ahead and kill you. And they're taken care of. Come on, you can do it in intent, just a little farther. Yay, we're there. Let's go into this building. Ooh, cool music here. Wait a minute, I don't believe I've seen you before. You must not be from around here, are you? No. Show me what you have. You don't have anything dangerous, do you? Well, actually I do, but... Hey, you're blocking the door. The janitor has the key to the roof, but he wouldn't give it to me. Well, that sounds fun. Let's go find that janitor. Uh, this should be... Empty room. Interesting. Nurse's office. The only thing she will help is an asthma attack or cold. You'll have to come back later. Hmm. Well, let's head on upstairs then. Um. There's a padlock on the door at the top of the stairs. Well, we do need to go see that janitor. Let's see if he'll let us in. Hey, there we go. Let's talk to him. Hi, janitor. Of course the door to the roof is locked. We can't have students sneaking out to play games when they should be studying, you know. Well, that's true. It's not that big of a problem. My wife is a bigger problem. She doesn't get out of bed until afternoon each day. She won't even pack me a brown bag lunch. Isn't that just horrible? Yeah, that's really terrible. Then when she does get up, she goes shopping. Luckily, I hid the credit cards from that woman. Don't you think she's a terrible wife? Now, wait a minute, I wouldn't go that far. When she was young, she was very pretty. Come to think of it, she's not that bad after all. Would you like some tea? Sure. You're a pretty good kid. You say you need to go up on the roof? Follow me. And here's a fun thing that isn't in the Japanese version. Hold down the run button and you'll get there faster. Because the run button doesn't really make you run, it just speeds up all sprites on screen. My wife was the first Miss Marysville in history. Well, isn't that interesting? That must be where we are now then, is Marysville. Okay, I've unlocked the roof. While you're up there, make sure to take in the view. It is unforgettable. Holy crap, how high up is this school? And look how far away from the rest of the town it is, unless that's Podunk. Holy crap! Let's talk to this garbage can. Who are you? I won't come out. If I do, everyone will pick on me. Well, that doesn't sound pleasant. Just come out. You want to be my friend? Don't tell anyone, but I stole some explosives. Uh, okay. I'm coming out now. <laughs> I love how it plays the level up sound. <laughs> Let's talk to this guy. Hi, I'm Lloyd. I wanted to fly the bottle rockets that the sweet little factory is producing. Wow, this bottle rocket is sure to cause a bang. We may be able to make some more on our own. Come with me to the lab. Cool. Speed up the sprites. Later we should go to Duncan's factory. I've heard they're constructing an incredible rocket. Um, maybe we will. Maybe we will. They call me names, weakling or four eyes, or worse. I'm sure that you've heard them. Oh, more than you know. More than you know. Oh, he's walking backwards. Holy crap. Your bottle rocket and my... And my... Great, isn't it? What? Wah! Holy crap, you just trashed the place. Let's get out of here. No, I want to see more. Wow, that janitor works quickly and there's already someone in here. How'd that happen? Oh, wow, Lloyd is only level one. 
Well, that's a, that's a bit of a problem. Um. Also, say goodbye to Pollyanna. You're never gonna hear it ever again. Because we now have two people in our party, and being friends is a new overworld theme. Deal with it. So let's explore town a bit. I have to kill some time for the video, but yeah, I think. Nah, eh, what the hey? I'll just cut the video here. Um, I need to go to Magic Camp to do some to do some serious grinding with Lloyd before we do anything else. But the really good thing about having Lloyd is we now have twice as much inventory room. And that is very nice indeed. So, I guess I'm going to end the video off here. So, we just got a new member of our party. That's pretty good progress. So, until next time, I'm Homestar92, and oops, I will see you guys later with more Let's Play Mother 1.